Uh, good afternoon to everybody. Welcome back uh, to, to the conference. Uh, my name is uh, Maria Grazia Zucchini, uh, and I am part of uh, the Aster staff uh, involved uh, in the Plastis project. Um, Aster is an Italian organization. We are based in Bologna, and our main focus uh, is uh, innovation and technology transfer. We try to create a, a fruitful and efficient uh, uh, connection between the academic world, the science world, and uh, uh, the entrepreneurial, the industrial world, uh, so that the innovation can be uh, a leverage for uh, an increasing competitiveness. Uh, of course, uh, in, uh, in the present uh, times, in the last year, uh, the topics uh, concerning uh, green economy uh, became more and more important, and uh, projects like Plastis, of course, uh, are absolutely in line with uh, the new concept of biorefineries and uh, a fruitful uh, exploitation uh, of uh, the possibility uh, that we have in the, in the industrial world. Uh, and in this afternoon, uh, we will uh, go in depth to uh, some different initiatives that uh, have been carried out in many different companies, companies uh, at European, but not only at European level. And uh, uh, the first introduction I will make will be about uh, the national info points that have been established uh, uh, thanks to the Plastis uh, projects. Um, in uh, the first part, during the morning, uh, um, Professor Krasan and also the other speakers uh, uh, introduced um, some of the activities uh, that uh, have been carried out within the Plastis uh, project in order to disseminate and to promote the use of bioplastics. Uh, these uh, ideas uh, of creating these national info points uh, is uh, absolutely in this uh, direction. Uh, just a few words that you illustrate uh, uh, which was uh, uh, the concept uh, uh, at the basis uh, of uh, the national info points. Uh, they have been conceived uh, to be a sort of interfaces, a sort of, let's say, one-stop shops uh, that have been implemented in each country in taking part to the Plastis project, but now this concept uh, will be also exploited in other countries, and I, we think that this can be also a good opportunity. Uh, they have been created in order uh, to establish uh, some common information platform that uh, will uh, um, be able to stimulate the interaction between demand and supply along the value chains of bioplastics in order to promote the connection to make it easier to find information and almost all to find correct answer to your questions. Uh, when uh, we have uh, thought uh, at uh, this uh, national info point, uh, of course, uh, uh, we are available to provide uh, information and uh, to everybody. But uh, we have uh, two main uh, um, typologies of, uh, in, our, in mind, considering our target. Uh, the main um, category is uh, the industrial operators. And when we say industrial operator, we consider uh, big industries, but in particular small and medium-sized enterprises. We constitute uh, the core of our economy, not only in Italy, but in Europe, and uh, we need more than the big industries to be uh, correctly uh, informed. And in this context, also the, the consultants have a place, of course, they are important uh, uh, connection between um, the new results uh, and the development of the companies. But we have thought also uh, at the general public, uh, because uh, we know that uh, in this field of bioplastics, uh, there is uh, a lot of information circulating, but uh, not always uh, the information are correct, have a sound uh, scientific basis.
services. So we thought that it was important uh, to improve also the opportunity uh, the general public uh, have uh, to uh, get correct information. So we think at the citizen, but also at the consumer association that can provide to their uh, associated uh, um, correct uh, information. Just a minute. Okay. So, uh, which kind of information uh, will be available through the National Info Point? Uh, more or less, you uh, will find information that have been um, before described uh, also as a content of this uh, opportunity for the future booklet and also in uh, the R&D scheme that, uh, that was illustrated before by uh, Mare Kovascu. Uh, the information are related, for example, to polymeric uh, polymer materials. You can find an introduction uh, to the basic concept uh, in, uh, in this area. Uh, you can have introduction to the different uh, types of bioplastics. You can find the correct definition, examples, and also some indication about the development of the global production capacity. Uh, you can find also uh, some insight uh, concerning the um, topic of sustainability uh, that can be seen uh, both from the env environmental point of view but also from the economic and social aspects. Of course, uh, when all uh, these three experts can be combined, you can obtain uh, the proper uh, um, absolute concept of sustainability. So you can find also information about this uh, important uh, concept. Uh, other information uh, are related to the certification process that uh, um, is really important uh, in order to assign value and recognize value of your products. So we have provided uh, uh, a sort of uh, an idea of the current certification schemes covering all uh, the possibilities we have at world level, in particular in Europe, and uh, examining the situation in the different countries. Uh, you can find also a list of applicable uh, standards and uh, uh, the difference from the different from uh, the various uh, levels that you mm, can find uh, on the market. Uh, finally, uh, we will have uh, some introduction to the R&D scheme that has been presented uh, in the morning and uh, how it uh, uh, makes possible to assess relevant competencies to carry out specific analysis, studies and research uh, reports. Uh, of course, uh, there is a, a session related to the news and events uh, for relevant for the bioplastic sectors and a glossary of terms uh, that uh, clarify the uh, sense of, of each um, word and concept that you, you will find uh, with the NIP. Uh, the basic features of uh, the NIP are that uh, the information that uh, uh, will be provided through uh, this, uh, uh, this point, this access point, uh, and have been verified by experts having consolidated experience on sustainable plastics. It's important to have unbiased information and this was uh, uh, absolutely taken into consideration when preparing the information, but we have also taken into consideration that uh, information has to be simple and uh, clear so few words, uh, uh, not a lot of words, uh, but uh, very, uh, very specific and absolutely correct. Uh, the national uh, level is also important because uh, through a national um, info points you can find not only general information about the state of the art in the world, in Europe, but also you can have uh, um, specific direct information of the situation in your specific countries and so you can have an idea of, on how you can translate um, the opportunities given by your plastic in your specific uh, world, in your in your specific environment. And most of the information provided through National Info Point uh, are also in your language. So uh, all the documents uh, are available in English, uh, but uh, most of the documents and most of the information that, they be provided, that will be provided by uh, the National Info Points will be in native languages. 
So how works uh, the national info point? Uh, we can work uh, in two levels. The uh, first level is uh, the contact info point. It's a place uh, and uh, there are people who can answer you, a place where you can go in directly in contact with local experts that can support you uh, trying to provide answers to your questions and a place also where you can collect uh, printed materials. Uh, today, this uh, brochure has been uh, distributed. We have also other, for example, this is on um, tool and methods for green economies. This is, uh, this is uh, available also in Italian and in English. This is just to give you an idea of what kind of brochure and leaflet you can find when you get di in direct contact with the local contact point. But not only uh, to reach uh, uh, um, an important amount uh, of people, we have thought that it was important to have information online. So we have established a sort of a portal, a sort of a hub. Uh, it is a sustainableplastic.au uh, link. This is, uh, uh, and to give you an idea of how it seems that it looks uh, when you go inside. And it, it is uh, um, a, a link that uh, you can have in order to be connected according to the different flag to your, uh, to your contact. Here are the example of uh, how can you access to the national info point. You can access going directly to the sustainableplastic.eu uh, web address, but not only, not only, you can also have a national info point that can be found also to the Plastis uh, website. Here is uh, uh, how it seems uh, the home page uh, of the Polish uh, National Info Point. And uh, here are some examples, the, the Italian one, the Slovenian, and the Slovakian NIP. These are the four countries directly involved uh, in the Plastis project, and they have prepared uh, these uh, uh, web pages where you can find all the information I have described uh, before. Uh, it is also important uh, to uh, replicate uh, this idea, we, so we have promoted uh, the use of this national info points in other parts uh, of the world, in particular in uh, Eastern Europe. Uh, so at the moment, uh, not only these four uh, national info points are available, but a template has been created in English in order to give an idea to everybody of how can it uh, works. And uh, Romania and Serbia has, uh, have already joined uh, the, the NIP concept and they have started working at their NIP website. So also the Romanian and Serbian flag have been inserted in this uh, project and also uh, for other countries that can be uh, interested and can be uh, made a similar uh, connection. This is uh, to give you an idea of uh, uh, the NIP homepage template uh, in English, and uh, then here are the contacts of, uh, uh, in the different uh, countries.